I'm Daniel, and today we're gonna build a rain gutter racetrack. So I'm really excited to share this project with you today. Uh, and full transparency, I've done this project before for my boys and they loved it, like hours and hours on this thing. So in my opinion, it's one of the best cost to fund ratios out there. Um, because it's really inexpensive and really easy to do. So I'm gonna be showing you three different racetrack designs from really basic to a little more over the top, but they're all gonna be using this same vinyl guttering. So this 10 foot vinyl gutter cost me eight or nine bucks, uh, but believe it or not, there's some even cheaper options than that. Uh, you can use aluminum gutters uh, or some different style gutters. As long as it has that flat bottom, it should work great as a racetrack. So this first design, there's really nothing to it. You're really just laying the gutters down on the ground. Uh, you do need some kind of a slope, so if your yard has a natural slope to it, that works great, or you can lean up against a deck uh, or a flower pot uh, to get enough slope to get some speed with the cars. Uh, but then you just overlap the gutters by an inch or two, and you're ready to go. Simple as that. A single track design like this is great for racing small cars, since there's still room for them to pass each other. And that brings me to our second design, which is this 30 foot double track so that you can race larger cars. To create the slope for this track, I built two freestanding posts using a 4x4 and some dog-eared 2x6s attached at the base. Then I attached these gutter hangers to the posts using stainless steel screws and just clicked the gutters into place. Then you overlap them at the seams, you're ready to go. I love how portable this design is, and it'd be really easy to extend it with even more posts. If you want to add a little decoration, make a finish line out of dowels and some white duct tape. And for an extra feature, I traced and cut out this basic starting block with a jigsaw, just to make sure everybody gets a fair race. Okay, for this last design, I went a little bit over the top. It's a 90 foot single track, complete with rolling hills, a 90 degree tunnel, and a bucket stunt jump at the finish line. So the whole track is attached to my wooden fence using these same gutter brackets, but I also used these joiner brackets to connect all the gutters end to end, uh, instead of just overlapping them, just to add a little extra stability. For the rolling hills section, I needed to make the gutter much more flexible. So I used snips to cut slices into the side walls every couple inches. Then I just used some extra brackets to position the hills where I wanted them. For this 90 degree tunnel, I used four inch PVC pipe with 45 degree elbows on the ends. PVC hanger tape attaches the whole thing to the fence. Now this is a pretty tight hairpin turn here, and I noticed that the cars were flipping over pretty often uh, when they were coming in too fast to that tunnel. It's just a lot of G-force to handle. Uh, so I slowed it down a bit by raising this angle up just a little bit, uh, and then also adding some yellow electrical tape to act as speed bumps, and that's helped a lot. Now for the final feature, the bucket jump. This one is just ridiculous and I love it. First, I created a ramp at the end of this gutter by cutting slices on the side walls again, then duct taping them into a raised position. Then I cut holes into the sides of this bucket for the cars to fly through. I filled it with muddy water just to add a little extra drama. Now, adding a water hazard like this will definitely increase the wreck percentage, but that's all part of the fun. And it'll make the finish line that much sweeter. You're not limited to just using toy cars on these tracks either. Things like marbles or golf balls work great as well and tend to wreck a little bit less. Well, I hope you're inspired to take some of these ideas, customize them, and build your very own backyard racetrack. I think your kids will love it, and let's be honest, I think you'll enjoy it too. All right, good luck. All the products I used are linked in the description below. If you end up making your own rain gutter racetrack, share it with us using hashtag Lowe's Project. We'd love to see it.